Hello, welcome to episode 9 of Practicing Pro with Michael. This episode I will be talking about the contents pane and all of its lists. The contents pane is movable. Just grab the top and you can move it. You can dock it on either side. If ever you close this pane accidentally, you can open it back up by going to the top, to the View tab, and then clicking on Catalog Pane, or you can click on Reset Panes. Reset, Reset Panes from Mapping, and it turns back on your Contents Pane and your Catalog Pane. At the top of the Contents Pane is a search box, so you can search for an item. Great if you have like 20 plus layers in your project. So I can just type in the search box, I'll type in city, hit enter, and now just my city limits are showing. It's filtered to just that word. To get rid of that, just click the X. The first icon lists the drawing order of your items. This is the only tab where you can rearrange your layers. Move the roads down below my city limits and you'll see that they're now drawing underneath. Move my roads back up. The next icon lists the data sources for your layers. Shows which folder or geodatabase they're located in. The next item lists layers that are selectable. Right now, just my building footprints. Let's go to map, selection tool, if I select, you'll see it's just selecting my buildings, it's not selecting my roads, not selecting my streams. The next item lists which layers are editable. Right now, all the layers are editable. These symbols say the item is being projected on the fly, which means it is a different projection from the map's coordinate system. The next item lists the layers that an item can snap to. So right here, all the layers are something you can snap to. So if I was like to add a building, I could snap to a road. I could snap to a stream. The last icon lists which layers are being labeled. Right now, just the roads are being labeled. That's it for the contents pane. Thanks for listening.